Good morning. This is Laura Judah. And I was reading in Acts chapter 2 this morning, and it just really put on my heart um, a desire to share a life-giving word with you this morning. Something that would refresh your heart and remind you of just how big and how loving our God is. So here goes. God is the creator of everything. He made man in his own image, and he made each person uniquely fashioned for a very important purpose in his kingdom. Every person has a unique purpose and a destiny in God. And everything that makes you, you, was predetermined by God so that you could fulfill that purpose. There's nothing lacking. You lack nothing. When he made you, it was from his heart of love and, a, and an excitement like um, any good parent that wants to watch their child grow up and become all that they were made to be. And God knew how to provide for all that as well. So he put it all on the inside of you like a treasure. And then he gave us his word and his spirit so that we would have instruction for how to go through life and fulfill that destiny, that purpose. The Holy Spirit is like uh, the illuminator, like an internal GPS that gives you understanding of the word and teaches you how to go. But he also gave you a free will, a choice to make, whether you wanted to follow his instructions or not. Whether you follow them or not doesn't change the way that he feels about you. It doesn't change his love for you. But in giving you that choice, he demonstrates the fullness of his love because he desires a family that willingly chooses to come to him, just like he chose us. It's not mandated submission. It's a voluntary love. And if you choose not to follow him, his love remains constant, but your life will suffer because you'll end up making choices that lead you further away from God's promise for you, his destiny, the plan that he created for you, and you'll be frustrated in your life and you'll suffer because you're making wrong choices. And he knew that you'd need a way to get back to him. And so he, that's why he sent Jesus. Jesus' perfect sacrifice, he gave his own life to take the penalty for your choices of sin, your choices to walk away from God. He paid the penalty for that so that you could come back and your relationship would be restored with the Father. Because sin is nothing more than turning away from God's ways and God's order for, for each person's life. Um, the sin leads you away from the light that God has provided and it, and into darkness. It takes you into the dark highways and byways of life. It causes you to do things that are going to be harmful to you and to other people. And the devil, of course, wants to entice you into that darkness. He wants you to leave those well-lit paths that God made for you. And listen to his lies so that he can cloud your vision and he can cause you to believe things about God that aren't true. But all the while, God still loves you and he's still longing for your return. He still desires to bless you and provide for everything that you need. The thing that you need to know is that sin begins with a thought. And when you act on that thought, it causes a break in your relationship with God. And then the devil jumps on it and he tells you, God's mad at you. You've made such a mess of things. You always get it wrong. You're never going to get it right. He tells you those things and you start to believe it. And the feeling of guilt can continue to drive you further and further away from God, away from the light and into deeper darkness. But it's all a bunch of lies. 
God never is mad at you. He never pushes you away. He never turns his back on you. He's always there saying, come on, come back, come back. I've made a way for you. And that re restoration of relationship isn't a hard thing. Jesus did all the hard work because he wants you to come back. He wants you to be part of the family that loves you. Love awaits you in the family of God. It's your choice to change the way you think, to turn the direction of your life and to return back to God's ways. And in Acts chapter 2, it says, Embrace and join yourself to the name of Jesus, the Anointed One. Then you can take hold of the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Illuminator, the one who teaches you. God's promise of the Holy Spirit is for you and your family, for those yet to be born, and for everyone whom the Lord calls to himself. Be rescued from the wayward and perverse culture of this world. Jesus is the light of the world. Turn back to him. Find your rest and your refreshing in Jesus. That's from Acts chapter 28. I mean, chapter 2, verse 28. For more information, you can turn there and see it for yourself in black and white. God loves you. I hope that's a refreshing word for you today. God bless you.